Uh, so still on the uh, translation, uh, but a translation of a poem by a Ukrainian uh, futurist um, who was living in Alberta in uh, the 20s and died in the early 30s. Um, <clears throat> and this is a poem that, that uh, Kuzmet, the Ukrainian futurist, wrote for Mayakovsky. Mayakovsky was the Russian futurist. And Mayakovsky always used to wear a bright yellow shirt in his performances that his mother made for him. He was very proud of this, this shirt that he wore. So Kuzmet wrote this tribute poem to Mayakovsky um, called Mayakovsky's Yellow Shirt. <clears throat> Mayakovsky, comrade, I shout to you and salute your younger brother in a sister country equally cold and severe. Mayakovsky, mentor, your yellow shirt, radiant and blinding as the wheat field at dawn, golden and intoxicating as my neighbor's homebrew, bright and oppressive as the sun we wish to defeat. Mayakovsky, imagine, I shout to you from unlettered Alberta, where I have no readers to shock, no shirt at all, yet alone a yellow one, and no mother to mend it. So that's one of the uh, Ukrainian poems I found from the, uh, from the futurists there. Uh, I'll read one more uh, sequence from American Standard, and then uh, I'll finish off with some kids' poems that I wrote. Um, so yeah, so still on the idea of, of plunder and found text and treated text. This is a piece called American Psycho, uh, where I took Brett Easton Ellis' novel, and I took every tenth page, and then I, I took words, it was a mesostic, I took the middle letters of, of certain words that spelled out a proper name, and then built these sort of sonnets out of that sort of process. So yeah, so this is American Psycho. Red lettering on of 11th from Wall Street and blocking his 26 will give radio be my I'm resourceful price unscrupulous highly as that society. For GQ on homeless and homeless please, the maitre d' are singing then a little hard body, four women at looking blonde, big and double faced knit dress and another is heading home, intense shiatsu, adults only rack, soothing strains of laminated photographs and by lesbian vibrator along with the I subscribe to wait until the purchase the nose while handing he hugs himself I take this I'm so hungry starts whimpering you get another job not what a uh, broken help you my he repeats you think it's other night though there is something to an appearance at girls to and deal with mother who's not bad and wool trousers patterned lace-ups by drinks with Charles jugular and mentarily and off she her legs bloods spurting out to inhale it's flooded with red blood and her mouth fills that cascades over resembles what I I'm given no into the room of, of the tourists taking us slamming themselves cop pushes me stand with the penguin habitat with a way until Avenue surprised by blood as stained and outgoing so during the first nouvelle Chinese Creole cuisine greens name calm even with she saw at the lobby of mass murderer which the sandwich board earlier that day casting a lingering sidewalk scream the cop car toward the curb collapsing onto at the same idea what if probably a they just start from his belly of the squad Haberstan paying I'm very proud have cold blood Blood, then realize it automatically answering out opening my idiots well though a bar or this century and yup uh, and okay um, I'll just finish then with a couple of kids poems I've been uh, writing uh, taking the rhyme schemes and the sort of imagery from, from children's books and redeploying them uh, trying to use situationist determinant uh, to make them a little more political a little more leftist uh, so I'll read a couple of those um, this is one called uh, ABC, an amazing alphabet book, which is based on the Zeus ABC, amazing alphabet. Um, a is for Althusser, B is for Barth, C is for Capital, D for Descartes, E is for Eliot's mermaid that sings, F is for Foucault, who wrote The Order of Things, G is for Gramsci, who in prison still wrote a book, H is for Hegel, who's well worth a look. Ideology begins with I, Jouissance is J, K is for Kristeva on L or linguistics, which also is Lacan's way. M is for Marx, who put workers ahead, and is for Nietzsche, who said God is dead. O is an object, and P is Plato's perfection. Q stands for query, and R is the reflection. S is for Said, who troubles the border. T is for teleology, which means it happens in order. U is understanding, V makes us vex. W stands for wondering, it then rhymes with X. Y is a yokim which leads us to Z, which also means zugma, as you have just read. And this is one based on Mr. Brown can moo, can you? <clears throat> Another Zeus one. I guess these are all Zeus ones for tonight. 
Mr. Brown is made to stand in line. Mr. Brown is made to moo. That happens to Mr. Brown. Does that happen to you? Mr. Brown is asked, are you Muslim or Hindu? Then they don't listen. Does that happen to you? When Mr. Brown is on camera, audiences all boo. Mr. Brown has been the enemy since 2002. Boom, 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 Mr. Brown's threatened thunder. Boom, 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 so Baghdad is rent asunder. Oh, the wonderful guises Mr. Brown could be made to assume. Let's turn the page. Let's review. And then the last one is based on uh, Fox and Socks. And if you know the Fox and Socks tongue twister, uh, where uh, Mr. Fox, or the Fox and Mr. Knox uh, debate and try to uh, outdo each other. And I've changed that to being uh, Marks on Box. Marks, box, masses, classes. Marks on box, masses of classes. Marks on box addresses masses on classes. Marks on box in the Eastern Bloc advises rising classes to oppose their fascist masters. Marks on box from the factories to the docks. Flocks and flocks must take their blocks to the locks. Rising masses, rising classes. No more fascists, it's a crisis. When workers battle owners, it's a worker-owner battle, and when they battle ideology, it's an ideological worker-owner battle. And when they battle with some Hegel, it's a dialectical, ideological worker-owner battle. When these workers fight these owners in an ideological battle, and their dialectical struggle is between the exploiters and their chattel, and these workers fight this battle in a place that's called Seattle, we call this a worker-owner dialectical, ideological chattel battle in Seattle. <laughs> now wait a minute, Mr. Marx, sir. When Marx is in the battle against the WTO in Seattle and the fascist forces are rising to rattle against the rabble, we call this a worker-owner dialectical ideological chattel rattle rabble Seattle battle, Marx on Box, sir. <laughs> Marx on Box, sir, thanks a lot, sir. You've shown us up and told us what, sir. You've told us how and why we should, sir, all work to fix our collective futures. That's the end of my reading. Well, thank you both. I guess that does it for the online version of this, so we'll say goodbye to the other thousands. Are you reading Steve? more? Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Is there anything else you guys wanted to add? Are you doing any more readings anywhere? Or oh, you're advertising. Yeah, well, advertising. Sure. Okay. Free sure. advertising. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow I'm reading in Buffalo at the Canadian Consulate. Nice. Um, to celebrate Claude Gouvreau. Sweet. And you have to wear a tie? The Automatis Gang. No. Oh. Ooh, you have to wear anything. Really? Nothing at all. Uh, it's fantastic be Canadian. On <laughs> Sunday, I'm reading in Hamble's Hamilton for the Quattro book launch. Uh, 2 p.m. Yes. Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. Sunday. I think. <laughs> the new Quattro book. Oh, yeah. And we... Oh, you, you Just so that I can say that I did it. I was supposed to read something from here. Here, this is a found poem. About drinking. Everyone goes to, win to wineries around here. And everybody knows that you're supposed to have a pretentious language to describe the wine that you're smelling. Right? This, this language. Sure. You do this. Everybody I don't do this. No, we're from here. <laughs> <laughs> we just look for whatever's cheap. Yeah, you watch the people drag by in swerving We get the stops in high school at the wineries selling to you, I guess. <laughs> this, this, is a, this is a found poem from a menu in Arezzo um, describing wines. And it, works, cool. it works for here. This yeah. is from the wine uh, Romatorio. You have to get the bouquet in your nose. Red intense rubies, ample bouquet. Noble is the eye to give a complex an ample whole. Noble is the eye of dry taste. That's one. <laughs> so that's it. Okay, great. Uh, I have no idea when the next Hearthside hearings is. Uh, apparently, Mingus Threat's going to come in. Uh, still as, working. Uh, yeah. We were talking about Mingus. Yeah. Yeah. We're asking what's happened to Mingus. Then. Mingus? Yeah, yeah we're going to find out. Probably July. Possibly Nine Stuart two. as well. Stuart was supposed yeah. to be here next month. Yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. Ambulance Blues. What's that? That's mm -hmm. Ambulance Blues. Oh. But if he does come, we'll do a workshop. What? I think he appeared in the Hamilton Spectator recently. Maybe we can get the Hamilton Spectator. Okay, yeah. then uh, good night from the hard good side night. hearing. Sure. Yeah. <laughs>